I love it. We are joined by the man who's responsible for putting those vignettes together and a whole lot more uh, with Slap Happy Cartoons, Josh Mepham joining us. Hello, Josh. How are you? Hi, Josh. Hey, nice Good, to see you. you. So were you really the guy making all the noise in that? Uh, I was. Actually, I had to go back to years ago. I'm not that guy at the games anymore. No. <laughs> right. So uh, tell us what you do at Slap Happy and how it ties into the Canucks and Finn. Uh, well, what we do at Slap Happy is we're trying to come up with fun cartoon ideas. So we make one sheets, these pitch packs. We send them to network works, have meetings, try to sell cartoon ideas, but also uh, we wanted to do something uh, smaller so we could actually get something on our reel as a company, because yeah. trying to sell a show and produce a show is a big task. Yeah, you got to have some track record. Yeah, yeah, yeah the whole, what have you done? So we yeah. tried to think of something smaller that we could do, and uh, it was kind of a selfish thing. We wanted to combine our two favorite things, which are cartoons and hockey. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, and, uh, we were at a game one day and said, that's an awfully big TV screen up there. Hey, yeah, opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah we saw that? Finn being a goof, thought, hey, he's practically a cartoon character. He deserves to be up on the big screen. Totally. So uh, put together a little pitch, showed it to the Canucks. They loved the design, and... Uh, and went from there. Well, well let's go through the pitch, because we've got, the, you're talking about pitches, and a lot of people yeah. don't know how television works, especially right. when it comes to pitching things like cartoons. Right. So let's look at some of the pictures, maybe walk us through uh, what sure. this is and what you guys did. Sure. So this show is called Sherpa Derpa. Uh, <laughs> of course, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I would have guessed. Yeah, so what happens is, uh, first, internally, we pitch each other. There's four partners at Slap Happy. We pitch each other an idea for a show, and this was Greg Sullivan had an idea about a, uh, a Yeti that, uh, is lonely. <laughs> as, as they would be. Yeah, and wants to see there the aren't a lot of them. Wants to see the world. So we hired a character designer. He came up with this guy here. We have a few notes. I love the notes like fur lines. Yeah, and no, those could be smaller. Yeah, and then this is the picky. this is the pitch sheet? This yeah, so what this is the one sheet cover. So there's uh, Sherpa Derpa and we gave him this uh, girl character that was gonna be his buddy he traveled the world with and that's her uh, adventures and grandfather who sort of funds all the adventures. So we put together the one sheet. lovely teeth. Yeah, well, he's British. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, and then what? So, so we sent this. Well, that's the back of the one sheet. There's all the text explaining the show. So that basically sums up the whole show in one sheet. Uh, we sent that to the networks and they said, this is great, this is funny, but it kind of looks like it's a show about an old man uh, because he's at the top of the mountain. And right now, we're looking for shows that focus on boys, not girls. So, uh, so we, there's a boy at the top of the mountain. Yeah, so we turned the girl into a boy, put him at the top of the mountain, killed off the grandfather. Awesome. Yeah. Hey. I would have too. So it's does Sherpa Derpa so have a, a ghost? Does Sherpa Derpa have a butler now? Is that? Oh, what? No, that's the boy's butler. <laughs> because we thought, well, they're probably gonna not want this 12-year-old wandering the world by himself. No. Right. He's got to have a chaperone yeah, of yeah. some sort. So that says uh, Jeepers. He calls him Jeepers. Um, and then the grandfather pops up once in a while. I love the uh, the ghost of the grandfather. Yeah, the, he's still there in, <laughs> in spirit. <laughs> you were ready to yeah. give him up quite yet. And yeah. it's interesting, you mentioned yeah. that you know you had a girl and there's trends in cartoons for girls and for boys. I guess you really have to follow what's going on, what the networks want. You do, and it's all timing because it takes quite a while to put together a one sheet. So while you're putting it together, we heard, oh, they're looking for shows about girls. Great, right. okay, let's do a girl. and. Uh, put together the one sheet, and by the time you're ready to pitch it, nope, sorry. Girls are done. We sure got lots of girl cartoons. <laughs> We're looking for boys. You're like, great, okay, let's go back in. So it's it's timing. Uh, it's a fascinating thing, too. I mean, because you, you have to be an idea factory yeah. sort of all the time as well. What usually yeah. triggers things for you? I mean, little things like Finn. You know, you're at a hockey game, and you look around, and you see Finn goofing around. Yeah, there. and that's an easier one because uh, the character is, is there, is there. he's created, it. and Finn's such a great character. He he didn't need these cartoons, these sort of just... He is a he, cartoon, he deserved he's these, yeah. yeah, he deserved these cartoons. Uh, so that was an easier idea, but for our own show ideas, I couldn't tell you where those come from. Really? Uh, from damage from high school. Is it usually just yeah. you guys sitting around and, and you'll sort of come yeah, up with this idea? Yeah, or? we have weekly meetings, and uh, on our meetings, Skype, uh, we'll, someone tosses out a 
crazy idea they had about yeah. a, a Yeti. And they that wanders just the riff world. on it. Yeah, or sometimes it's just a word. I thought the word shenanigans was funny. It is a funny so, word. So yeah. Not so there's the title, about. right? So we have a yeah, we have a show idea about a family of leprechauns that. Uh, <laughs> oh shenanigans! That's that, offensive to my people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of Irish here today as well. Uh, but I, I mean, for people that that look on this as as a possible career, you know, you talk to kids all the time, and you know, who doesn't love cartoons? But yeah. people sometimes just don't know where to start. They don't well, know where that entry yeah, point is. Yeah, and I didn't know either. I'm from Victoria, and I thought, okay, I guess I knew that I loved drawing, and that I wanted a job in drawing, but I thought I'd be down at, at right, the, the Empress Studios, Hotel okay. doing caricatures or something. Okay, right, I okay. Yeah, I aimed a little too yeah, high. Right? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe advertising. Right. right. But then one day, just flipping through the straight, saw, oh, Vancouver Film School. Okay. And they had this big article about animation, how it was picking up steam in Vancouver. So good timing. Hopped on, yeah, really good timing. <laughs> hopped on the ferry, came over, said, "Wow, it, it's actually you can it's get amazing. a job doing this." And there's so many different forms of animation as well. I mean, do you guys yeah. have a style that, that you sort of hang your hat on of, of animation? Uh, slap happy style is sort of this loose, wacky, cartoony stuff. And then there's so there's uh, there's the cartoony stuff. There's the 3D uh, yeah. video game stuff. There's CGI. anime. There's then there's your action hero sort of superhero stuff. Yeah. So we're more the goofy. Yeah, you get the humor from the actual animation as well as from, you know, whatever the characters yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's our forte. And then the, the technology is always changing So as what's well. next for Finn? Finn, well, we just did a few more things for the Canucks, uh, which are playing at the games now. Yeah. Which is things just to get the crowd even more pumped up. Like if, the, if, if a wave starts, we've got him surfing on a wave. And we have him <laughs> it there. gets people, I noticed, it gets people's attention far more. It does. When Finn's yeah. involved. It Because it makes it more fun. It does, yeah. And uh, we've noticed that the Canucks didn't get past the Blackhawks the last two years. They didn't have right. the Finn animation. No Finn animation. This yeah. year they got past the Hawks, so. Yeah. So they should probably you hire you guys. Draw again. your own conclusions <laughs> there. Yeah. Thank you for everything yeah. you've done well, for thanks. the city. I, I look <laughs> and nice shirt. Uh, so there you go. Now you have it. Now you know where the thanks, animation Josh. on the Jumbotron uh, comes from when you see Finn. Yeah, yeah, nice. I like it. We're going to take a break. When we come back,